Hello, my name is Kevin Raymond. I'm a physical therapist here at Care Orthopedics Physical Therapy. Today we're going to be talking about blood flow restriction therapy. Uh, the way that this all first began about 10 years ago was in the U.S. military with folks coming home from the wars, both men and women who had injuries to either the lower extremities or upper extremities, leading to the possibility of amputations. And with the use of regenerative medicine, they were finding ways that they could salvage these limbs but needed a way that they could also uh, work on rehabbing these individuals. And that's where the blood flow restriction therapy came in. Uh, about five years ago, it came to the civilian world, uh, most predominantly with post-operative rehab, uh, to allow for the same benefits and success with increasing muscle strength, uh, as well as uh, bone healing and reducing the formation of scar tissue. So how does blood flow restriction work? It works by occluding the blood flow to the lower extremities by 80% and occluding the upper extremities by 50% to decrease oxygen to that muscle and allow for metabolic changes to occur. This allows for our patients to work at about a 30% workload, decreasing stress to our healing tendons and ligaments within the body. For example, in the clinic, this allows our patients to come in postoperatively to work at a much lower intensity while allowing them to still reap the same benefits of a high intensity load training to gain both muscle hypertrophy and strength. So in our clinic we use the Delphi tourniquet system. Uh, the benefit of this is that it has sensors within the actual cuffs themselves to allow for uh, sensing the appropriate occlusion rate and sustaining that throughout the entire process of that workout session. So to begin with we'll have the individual lie on their back and then calibrate the system which will then tell us exactly what percentage that we need to use during the exercise program that we're going to go through. Typically what we'll have the individual do is about three exercises directed at different muscle groups and then follow that up with at least one functional exercise. So in this case we're going to go ahead and go through the typical protocol which is four sets. The first set being 30 reps and then 15, 15, and 15. The goal being is that the individual would actually fail during that fourth set. So now we're going to go through an example of one of the exercises that can be performed. I'm going to go ahead and inflate the cuff. And we're going to have the patient start with the first set of 30 reps and she will continue on through the rest of the remainder of that protocol.